वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ शॉप तो पूर्णी फ्रॉम बायो लाइफ होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ स्पीसीज डाइवर्सिटी इन इकोलॉजी दैट इज स्पीसीज इवेंटनेस इंडेक्स और पायलूज इंडेक्स ओके सो व्हाट इज स्पीसीज इवेंटनेस स्पीसीज इवेंटनेस रेफर्स टू हाउ इवेंटली स्पीसीज आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन अ कम्युनिटी ओके सो व्हाट डज दैट मीन सी I have drawn two communities here, community one and community two. Both have same species richness, that is three. A is equal to three for both the community. Okay, what is species richness? Species richness is nothing but the total number of species present in a given community. Okay, so here both community one and two have three species, that is A, B, C. Okay, A, B, C. Now. uh their total number that is capital n is also same okay uh calculate the total number 97 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 100 and here 33 plus 32 plus 33 equal to 100 so the total number of all the individuals of all the species in both the community is same now they have given you the uh individual number of each species in a community and you have to tell which community is more even okay species richness is same but which one is more even see here species a has 97 individual b has 2 and c has one individual and here species a and c has 33 33 individuals and b has 32 individuals so uh, without doing any complicated uh, calculations we can easily uh, say that which community is more even obviously the second community is more even because the number the uh, the changes in number is very small okay 33 32 33 that means they are very evenly distributed these three species are very evenly distributed and none of them are like dominant none of them are like very rare but here you can easily see that the species a is the dominant species because out of 197 individuals of this community are represented by species a okay so species a is the dominant species in this community so obviously the changes in the individual number of these three species is very larger 97 then 2 then 1 so obviously this species is this community is less even than the communities 2 so obviously which one is more even community obviously the answer is community 2 but as we have given um a as we are taken a small example it is very easy to just observe and tell which one is more even but there is some formula through which you can also tell which one is more even for larger communities okay uh, or for smaller communities also so what is the formula the formula is named after the scientist pilew and the formula is j equal to h by h max where j is the evenness index or pylews index h is the uh, shannon diversity index and h max is the maximum diversity or the maximum value of shannon index okay so h is the shannon diversity index of a community that is observed and h max is equal to uh, natural log of s that means log of species richness s is the species richness that means it indicates the maximum diversity that can be uh, obtained by the community or the maximum uh, value of shannon uh, diversity index okay now we will calculate j for both the both one and two community okay so uh let's do that for community 1 so for uh, getting the value of j we need to find out the value of h and h max okay so for community 1 what what will be the shannon diversity index or h so see there are three species a b c and n is the uh, individual number of individual organism present in each species that is a have uh, species a have 97 organism b have two organism and c have one individual now pi pi equal to small n by uh, capital n okay capital n is the total number of uh, all the 
individuals of all the species present in the community that is 100 here so pi equal to small n by capital n it is the relative abundance okay relative abundance i have told you about relative abundance and how to find out that in my previous video you can also watch out those videos the links are given in the description box below so what will be the pi for each species it will be for the species 1 97 by 100 that is 0 0.97 for species b uh, it will be 2 by 100 that is 0 0.02 and for species C it will be 1 by 100 that is 0 0.01. Now uh, with the help of a calculator let's take uh, let's calculate the value of LNPI okay uh, these are the values and then multiply each LNPI with their respective PI so multiply 0 0.03 with uh, minus 0 0.03 with 0 0.97 and you will get the values minus 0 0.029 and like that do all the uh, values okay now you have to sum up these three values as we know that the uh, Shannon Weaver index equal to minus of summation of PI ln PI so just sum up this value and it comes minus 0 0.53 so obviously what will be the uh, Shannon diversity index for community one it will be minus of summation of PI PI LNPI so it is 0 0.153 so easily by seeing this you can say that this this uh, community one has very less diversity okay uh, though community one and two both have the same species richness that is three the total number of species is same for both the community but uh, community one has very less diversity uh, that is 0 0.153 okay now try to find out the evenness index for the community 1. It will be J1 which equal to H1 by H max. Here H1 equal to 0 0.153 and H max equal to ln of 3. Okay. And the value comes 0 0.139 which is very small which indicating that community 1 has very small evenness index. Okay. Now let's take a look on the community 2 and do the same uh, same equation for the community 2 so see here for community 2 there are also three species a b c and their individual number is 33 32 33 by seeing this you can easily say that the community 2 is more even than community 1 and now uh, uh, calculate the value of relative abundance of each species in community 2 then the ln of pi and then multiply ln pi with the respective pi and you will get the summation of PI ln PI equal to minus 1.097 and the Shannon Weaver index for community 2 equal to 1.097 which is quite higher okay than the uh, community 1. So now uh, let's calculate the J2 or evenness index for community 2 which is H2 by H max. H2 is 1.097 okay and H max equal to ln of 3 as S or species richness is 3 here ABC. So, the value comes 1.097 by 1.099. See, the value of H, H2 is quite closer with the value of H max. So, the uh, J2 value comes 0 0.998, closer to 1, which indicates that the community 2 has greater evenness. Okay, the community 2 has greater evenness. You can easily say that by seeing these numbers also. Okay, so as J1... Uh, is less than J2. J1 is 0 0.19139 and J2 is 0 0.998. So, community 2 is more even than community 1. Okay. So, that is how you can calculate, you can say which community is more even by calculating the Pylos evenness index. Okay. Now, coming to some important information about Pylos index. See, the value of J can be uh, has a range from 0 to 1 okay so when the j is 0 that means there is no evenness okay that means some of the one of the species is dominating okay and when one is uh, the value of j is 1 that means there is complete evenness see here in the community 2 we can find the value uh, of j is near the 1 0 0.998 because see here the the all the three species are almost uh, evenly distributed okay though this number is one less but the, all of them are almost evenly distributed so one indicates the complete evenness okay 
Now, increasing value of J, that means when the value increases towards 1, that indicates increasing evenness. Okay, you have also got that. Uh, and increasing diversity also. Okay, so whenever the evenness will increase, obviously the diversity will also increase. Okay, and now the decreasing value of J, that means when the value of J goes towards 0, that indicates low evenness, which we have seen in the community 1. Okay, and along with that, that also indicates less diversity. Obviously, when a community is less even, that indicates that diversity is also less and dominance of a particular species. See, from the example community 1, the example is very evident that, see here in the community 1, the uh, there are three, three species, A, B, C, but their evenness is very less, so their diversity is also very less. We have seen that through the H value, the Shannon Weaver value. Okay, and you can also see that species A is dominant. So, whenever the J value and H value will be less, that means evenness and uh, 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 diversity, evenness will be less, the J value will be less, then the diversity index, the Shannon Weaver diversity index will also be less and, only, and obviously there will be some dominant species. Like here, the A is the dominant dominant species okay so that is how you can answer all the questions that may come from pilus diversity index or evenness index also known as equitability index okay i think now this is clear to all of you if you find this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you uh, are new to my channel don't forget to hit the bell button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and happy learning